Hello everyone. Welcome to the official YouTube channel of Halia Institute of Technology. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for getting continuous notification. My dear IT students, so many questions few people were asking um, about your placements. Now our whole CPO cell, that is the training and placement cell, is here to answer all your questions. As many questions you have, you know, mind regarding placements, regarding packages, regarding the questions that you need to ask, ask everything to our two professors. They are erudite scholars in the field. Uh, Shushmit sir, as you have already been introduced to Shushmit sir, he is the professor in the Department of Information Technology. And at the present moment, Shushmit sir is going to give the presentation and paint your thirst. Sir, over to you. Okay, madam. So thank you, madam. So uh, just I have uh, shared my slide. So will you be able to... Okay, so uh, uh, we have gathered here uh, for uh, discussing the various aspects which are related with the training and placement cell. Now, uh, now you all know that uh, the Haldia Institute of Technology, it comes under ICAO and it has been accredited to NAC grade A uh, and, it, it, and it has got a uh, point of 3.31 out of 4. And the NBA, the accredited by NBA departments are CAC, IT, EC, AEI, Electrical, Chemical, Mechanical, BT, FT, and Civil Engineer. Now, this college has been established at 1996. Now, now coming to the first slide. Now, since we know that I care, okay, it comes under this iCare is a non-profit making voluntary organization and it is uh, and it has been established under the act 1961 now first thing the first thing we mainly offered 12 BTEC courses and five mtech courses and apart from the btech and mtech courses we also offer mba course and mca course and then apart from this btech mtech mba and mca we also offers M this MBBS, then BDS and MDS courses. So all these courses we, we are having in all our in all the institutes which comes under the IQ. Now apart from this, uh, next slide. These are all the institutes that comes under IQ. Okay, Haldia Law College is there. Haldia Institute of Management is there. Then Vidya Sagar Primary Teachers uh, Training Institute is there. Then Haldia School of languages are there so these are all the institutes that comes under i care uh, next next uh, we also offers diploma in general nursing and and we also offers a four and a half years of bachelor of physiotherapy now these are the two institutes that we have recently incorporated under i care uh, then apart from this that this college has a very large student strength of 4,553. And uh, many of the departments that we have, uh, most of them are NBA accredited. And also our college is, uh, college is NAC accredited. Okay. We mainly focus on the three qualities. The first quality that one must have got the vision. Now, in uh, now in achieving the vision we mainly focus on the center of excellence in field of science management okay in all those things then then after the vision we also focus on the mission what mission we we have now the now the mission that we have okay it is mainly used to impart quality and value based education to raise the satisfaction level of all the stakeholders and finally we are also having the quality policy we believe in quality so that's why we uh, we generally produce very high quality students who get who got placed in uh, mostly three or four software companies now after that uh, okay it is a strategic location of haldia okay it is the industrial hub that, that is located in haldia now from this diagram you can see it is the uh, this haldia is also known as the industry okay in industry belt of west bengal and uh, and under this 
we are mainly uh, focused on the core sectors the core sector jobs that we offers they are ma they are uh, mainly from like hpl comes in every year then halia port dock complex is there we mainly offers the industrial training in there and we also offers industrial training in other core sectors like mitsubishi then uh, then apart from this the halia halia petro carbon is there excite is there so all these things so the geographical location of halia is located in such a way that we can offer the job job placement as as well as the industry the industrial trainings then in the next slide these are the ongoing programs that we have we offer the undergraduate courses that we offer these are the undergraduate courses and the intake in in each and every course that we offer uh, next slide is it is the pg courses that we offer we offer mtech in uh, biotechnology we offer mtech in chemical energy we offers and we offer mtech in computer science engineering we offer mtech in ec we offer mtech in mechanical engineering and these these are the corresponding intakes in each and every department then apart from this we also offers mba and mca and the intakes are 60 and 60 respectively next the admission procedure that we follow we generally follows the je mains and je advance and after first year we also follow the gilet examination and after cracking the gilet examination st students mainly come here through the uh, lateral entry by giving the gilet examination now in for mtech we follow the pget rule for uh, uh, the pget we follow for mtech admission and for mba we, we follow mat score for followed by the group discussion and through jmat and after this for mca we follow the jka which is conducted by central selection committee next it is the infrastructure of our haldia institute and at a glance you could see that the area of land is and uh, near about 37 acres and we have got 14 boys and girls hostel inside the campus and out of 14 boys and girls hostel uh, in every hostel we have got separate canteen we have got uh, four wardens and one superintendent and for uh, and apart from this in every uh, girls and boys hostel we also offers uh, the monthly mo monitoring uh, supervision system Uh, through which we can uh, we can afford the the very uh, supporting thing from our side and then apart from this uh, at a glance you could see it is a boys hostel playground and then after this it is the central field of the main building so uh, for for each and every boys hostel we have got separate uh, playgrounds and for girls hostel we have also got we have also got a central field then the support services that we provide uh, canteen for students are there canteen for faculties and staffs are there playground is there basketball court is there recreation hall for indoor games are there post office is there It, it's a very important thing that uh, we have got a we have got a in house post office so inside the campus we have got post office we have got banks uh we have got atms we have got we have got book shops laundry is there so all this supporting support services are provided okay inside the campus then apart from this uh, these are the certain uh, slides certain uh, snaps of the restaurant inside campus cafe inside campus basketball court is there then the playground okay inside the campus is there uh then the major part of this institute is the library facility the name of the library is arjabhatta central library and here we are having uh this number of books the number of journals are there number of e journals are there the number of i triple e online access are there the sci journals are there so all these things you could get inside the central library facility 
when uh, the then the human resources that this uh, this hit has got uh, these are the faculties who are having phd and these are the faculties who are having mtech and then apart from this we have got 295 non teaching staff and under this uh, 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 secret security is also there and we generally keep a ratio of 1 is to 7 faculty to the mentor ratio faculty to student ratio we generally keep it as 1 is to 17 Ah, uh, then the extracurricular activities that we generally indulge in, ah, uh, pr prajukti is the prajukti is the tech phase that we generally indulge in, and uh, apart from this, we have got H I T times. Then I T P L E I T P L E chamber is there for I T P L E online access or for I T P L E journals. Ah, uh, then apart from this, ah, uh, some co-curricular activities also we do indulge in. these are all the snaps that we have captured from the prajukti that you can see okay, all types of extra curriculum activities and all types of uh, extra all types of competitions which are held in prajukti we have just captured all the snaps uh then comes the cultural fest now the cultural fest that we conduct it is known as riviera now you could see the various snaps that we have taken in the cultural fest then one more interesting thing that we indulge in it is the formula 1 student competition so in our uh, so in our pro production engineering and mechanical engineering they have come come together and they have formed a group called as manav group and in that group they have taken students who are very much interested in formula 1 competition so the participation and the competition of students are always encouraged and welcomed in our cultural fest uh then apart from cultural fest we have got the sports meet we have got the the alumni meet called as fire dekha we have also got the retress we have also got the nss activities so these are all the snaps that we could see from this slide then now uh, the main part of our training and placement thing we do indulge in various activities under training placement cell we do have a training placement cell and we do indulge in several activities like campus interview now now the campus interview it forms a very integral part of our institute and we do offers very good percentage of campus placement in every year and then comes the internship or the summer summer or winter training now uh, now as you know that AI, this this aict has made it mandatory from last year that internship or last last year we used to call it as the summer training it has to be done by every student so we do we do have a, a provision of Six month internship program for every for each and every student. So when a student is getting admitted into the very first year, now from first year to fourth year, he or she will need to carry out an internship program of six month. Now that this six month can be split into say either three phases or four phases. So if that six month program is split into three phases, then he or she will need to undergo a train and. he or she will need to undergo an internship of 2 uh, months each and and if the training program is split into four phases then he or she will need to undergo a training of one and half months so internship is compulsory from now onwards since aict has made it mandatory now after the internship next comes the expert lectures now we have got video lectures from our expect uh, from, from our expert faculties you can also download the video lectures from our college college websites and then we do offers the industrial visits for one day or for half day and then apart from the industrial visits 
we do offer the soft uh, soft skill up uh, soft skill upgradation program for uh, second year or third year students uh, then we do offer the grooming classes now this grooming classes and soft skill upgradation this two these two uh, features are very much important as far as the Absolutely. campus placement is concerned now since we since we know that campus placement it starts from fourth yeah. year right after the okay after the sixth semester campus placement starts Excellent. but you need to Excellent. you need to get trained from the very first year okay the day the day in uh, the day on which you are entering the college the very first day from the very first day you start preparing yourself for the campus placement and for doing this you need to have soft skill upgradation program you need to go through with the grooming classes now grooming classes we do conduct for make for 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 ensuring a good placement percentage for ensuring the students must get well well uh, very well behaved uh, and they must be uh, they must get very much very well equipped with what sort of questions will be asked in the campus placement what sort of uh, questions did they need to face in the campus placement then after that we do uh, we do conduct certain online aptitude test uh, we do also conduct certain gd programs and we do also uh, conduct certain campus connect program with infosys then we do conduct digital nurture program by cts then apart from this all uh, this all uh, rest of the part rest of the programs we do conduct from the starting of the third year so now from uh, from uh, from the training placement side uh, the day on which you are entering the college the very first day you start preparing yourself from the from the training and placement point of view from the very first day from the very first day you start learning things that comes in your way you try to learn whatever you learn whatever semester you are in you try to learn the subjects in a proper way you try to learn uh, the languages in a proper way now one thing you may ask that uh, suppose you are studying in a core background okay it's in a core sector now why you need why you you are going to sit for the software companies one question may come in your mind now see software companies they do deal with the core clients right now when a software company is dealing with core clients they need students from core backgrounds so what so in whichever uh, background you are in in whichever department uh, you are coming from okay you try to live it you try to learn the codes in a proper way okay you don't need to go for you don't need to think about the placement you try to learn whatever things are coming in your way you will be very well equipped with the placement part the placement and the training part we are here to help you out your faculty mentors are there for help helping you out and i hope uh, through faculty mentors and through our training and placement cell you will come out with flying colors and then apart from this various activities we do have some industry collaborations with some of our companies we have signed a move with infosys just recently we have signed a move with bcci uh, apart from this we have signed a move with cpet we have signed a move with uh, uh, we have signed a move with the uh, the mahindra internship we have also signed some moves with uh, uh, we have just tied up with first nokri for pre for pre placement ass assessment test we have also signed some move with uh this cavender then apart from this we have also signed more with jubilant so all these things they come for industry institute partnership we need to see uh, from last year aict has made it compulsory that we do need to sign a more with at least four uh, five industry so if we can't be able to sign a more with five industry then our affiliation will be at stake so at some point of time we need to sign move with industry so that we could manage a very good industry institute partnership then apart from this we have uh, got a, a very good placement record and uh, from now onwards so, so smith sir is going to uh, 
take the uh, dais from me, from my side. Sir is going to explain the rest part. Well, students, a very good evening to all of you. Uh, I am Susmit Maiti, taking care of trading and placement in Haldia Institute of Technology. I hope I am audible to all of you. If anyone could respond back. Uh, yes, sir, it is audible. Yes, sir, audible. Okay, perfect. So the person responsible for your trading and placement is myself and my team. Right. So we'll be supporting you in all uh, possible measures that uh, we have been doing this job with uh, expertise for the last 10 years. I've been there in this college for the last 15, 16 years and into the training and placement cell for the last 10 years. So as we proceed, uh, see, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you a few things about uh, the uh, trading and placement cell that uh, how we proceed for the um, uh, placements of uh, uh, students for my college. So I'll be expecting a few things from you for, in terms of trading and placement. As you see, uh, as you come across the syllabus uh, or the curriculum, you I mean, so somebody may be very brilliant in their studies. But again, I'll tell you that you need to find out the application in the industry. Unless you collaborate industry with your studies, the studies are meaningless. It may be you are a very uh, brilliant student, but uh, if you cannot apply things in the industry, so it doesn't put much of your meaning. So the application, once again, is a very important parameter that you need to understand that uh, uh, means what you learn need to be applied. For. I learn differentiation integration, but if I'm not aware about its application, I hope that the justification of the learning does not uh, get fully satisfied, right? So this is where we stand that our training and placement is basically, if, uh, means we try to uh, take our students through the requirements of the companies. Uh, I'll try to show you through a slide that uh, means uh, how means what are the things that we expect from you, how we take training and placement, what are our records, what I'm expecting from you, what do we mean by a uh, uh, means. Uh, best placement that means for us at least so i'm taking you through the slide so as you could see that uh, so let me take you through the slides uh, that uh, means uh, as i proceed so these are basically tanmay has uh, tanmay is from my team and he has uh, very uh, uh, means explicitly introduced my institute uh, uh, in front of you that we are uh, having the capacity we initially we started off with only three departments catering to companies in earlier itself now we are to 4,500 plus and uh, we cater to uh, all industries across the uh, across India. So uh, coming to our placement records, let us uh, take it forward that uh, we perform convincingly. We are performing convincingly with uh, average placement records of 80% plus, uh, sometimes 89, sometimes 82. So of the students getting placed. But again, these figures may be, may be attracting you all. But there are, uh, as you could see, that uh, the statistics goes on fine with us. But again, there is a lot of investment from the uh, student side. That uh, yeah, means uh, students need to get themselves prepared. I'll tell you that opportunities are plenty in the market. Even though the scenario or the economic growth in our country, in our state, they are uh, at the falling curve. But still, I'll tell you that opportunities are plenty. Only thing is that we lack certain skill set. If a student can possess a skill set, can acquire the skill set in the coming four years, a job shall remain waiting for them. It is, you believe me or you can trust me that one who acquires a skill set, a job is going to wait for him. You need not wait for the job. The job, job will change you. This is how we see at the job. So these are our placement records. In 2020 and 2021, we have achieved 82. And this year, we are uh, uh, performing well. We give up uh, almost 100% placement uh, to departments like these are, uh, I'll tell you that uh, two departments like chemical, CS, IT, electronics, um, uh, civil. This year, we have been instrumental in giving a full placement to all the students. Uh, chemical, we have been giving the uh, almost 100% of placement uh, for the last five, seven years. The demand of chemical, civil, computer IT, EC, it is really high nowadays, and we need not struggle much to get the placement for uh, this uh, for these uh, departments. Again, for other departments also, mechanical, once again, an evergreen department, we get uh, renowned companies like Haldia Petrochemicals, Adani Urmar, Badger Pens, Bar Kulkuri Tawal. So these are a few names that you will be coming across, uh, you will be uh, learning from your uh, seniors, you'll be learning from your friends, you'll be learning from your 
brothers or sisters so you will come to see and this is how the placement statistics goes on uh, we do place our students in all regions that are southern region north east west so we get most of most of the uh, means uh, companies from the southern part like uh, you might have heard about the uh, vaccine named as covaxin bharat biotech once again is our uh, recruiter uh, regular recruiter unique biotech uh, ilfs mu sigma ramki fosrock and you name it our major recruiters i'll be telling you is that we start off our with our placement uh, season with wipro and infosys for years after year it may be you can take it for um, means last 20 years we have been uh, having uh, wipro as our uh, first lot partner and recruiting as many as 250 plus uh, as an all time record and uh, means infosys recruiting 224 tcs recruiting 200 so the initial, uh, I'll tell you that the initial companies or the mass recruiters in the IT sectors, uh, we are we really um, means uh, enjoy the placements here. We do not struggle much. Uh, IBM is one of our recruiter. Capgemini, we had a campus drive for Capgemini this year. Then after Accenture, PwC, we are waiting for it, them in the on eighth of this month. That means another four five days, right? Later, we are having the campus drive for PwC. So in CSIT domain, you name it and you get it. Yes, uh, companies like Google, Microsoft, they really do not visit uh, our college. The reason being is that they look for a pedigree. They visit IITs. But again, once again, we are we do not lose hope. We are after it. And someday, we will get a Google and Microsoft into our campus and Intel into our campus. Right. So these are few, as you could see, that these are few uh, companies from the Eastern region, Western region, Adani, Ulmer, Kiyoskar Brothers, Tharmax, they are big names, Alpha Level. In Rectifier, Hexaware, Capgemini. So they are all big names and they are usually, they are frequent recruiters for our college. So uh, company wise, the list is uh, plenty. Uh, I could assure you that I could give you uh, plenty of opportunities. Only thing is that I cannot give the interview for you and you have to give the interview on your own. Your skill set is going to determine your uh, means, uh, placements then after, right? Few things. Uh, these are few events we organize. The HR meets with the HR. They tell our, they groom our students. They tell what is the need from the industry. Uh, we've uh, organized certain uh, uh, company visits. That is, we we give an all round effort to make our students ready for the industry, and we succeed in these uh, avenues as well. Students they work well. See, our alumni are there in cognizant for last 15, 20 years. So they are all managers right now. So whomever that means we remain confident that whomever we speak to, maybe he is one of our alumni, right? So uh, we have a, a good branding in these companies. Maybe TCS. You speak about somebody in TCS. I find uh, one of them as my alumni. So this is how we are oriented in terms of uh, placement. And now let us come for the most interesting part. You must be wondering that what are the companies there? 2022 we started off with uh, 12 and more companies. We are having another uh, set of, uh, let us say, the 12 companies waiting after the Puja vacation. We started off with Wipro this year, uh, then after Infosys, then after TCS, CTS, Capgemini, Accenture, IBM, PCG Digital, Ernest, uh, Arn and, Arnst and Young, Take Mind, the ACL, Hexaware, PwC, you name it, and I'm, I'm telling you that uh, the company will uh, uh, is expected to visit our college, right? So we are not uh, in a dearth of vacancies right now. Yes, the market is pretty high uh, this year, and uh, we are expecting a record number of placements this year. As I could get the bias from the companies, that the it means we will uh, break all records uh, till last year. That means the 20 years record will be broken this time. And believe me, that the the numbers or the vacancies in these companies, in these IT companies, are uh, means uh, means uh, pretty high. That uh, means you cannot just imagine. That last year it was 17,000, this year it is 28,000. So you could imagine that the number of placements or the vacancies that goes on high uh, even during the COVID scenario. So these are the few reputed companies that we started off. Uh, we are still ongoing. Today also we are going the going on with the uh, campus drive of Tech Mahindra. We are expected to have PwC on 8th of this month. TCG Digital, IBM, Accenture, Capgemini, they are all done. We are all done with this these companies. So these are all about the IT sector, right? So now coming to the next slide, as you could see that uh, you should understand, see these names are uh, very lucrative, the packages are lucrative, but again, we have to get it, because it should be reachable to us. So I will propose a few things wherein uh, means uh, uh, a student could easily get through, means uh, could achieve the placements. The point is that placement, getting placement, you will feel very happy as if you were the king of this world. But again, achieving it may be a bit difficult for you. But again, I repeat, 
you should understand this that a placement is not a phenomenon which used to take place in the fourth year remember this this is a law remember it as a law placement happens from first year only that if you could get those concepts clear you need not you need not think about a job forget about a job a job is going to chase you but again if you are under confident if you are tell if you think that okay for, for after four years i will think that about my placement i'll tell, I'll tell you that this is, will be a very foolish thinking we do not recommend it it is an incremental phenomenon and i expect that my students take it up from day one whatever you learn try they see industries expect very very few things from you they expect your fundamentals to be clear they expect you to be expert in one subject not in plenty of subject so if you are targeting python you should be expert in python if you are targeting java you should be expert in java if you are targeting transformer you should be expert in transformer if you are transfer I means targeting boiler you should be expert in boiler so the, the point is very clear that one cannot be a master of all this is what industry believes right so uh, i means i'll tell you i'll take you through few, few placement myths that means which you know and the things the beliefs that we do not believe and or the beliefs that we believe may not be you may not be aware about it first thing is that you you think that getting placed is difficult we do not think so getting placed is a very very easy phenomenon that you need to think take it incrementally you need to start thinking of trading and placement right from day one and that is the reason that i am telling you right now that if you think that i will do it after 3 years it is a foolish thinking it means get rid of it you cannot uh, means this proposition is not at all uh, recommendable and what i will propose is that getting placed is difficult if you take it on third year getting placed is easy if you take it on first year so it is left up to you it is left up to your mindset you should make your mindset aligned you should prepare with your skill set very small things try to take things in a very small way learn something which is small need not take need not learn rocket science at one go right think small believe small take things in a small way try to but try to achieve it right acha so this is one myth that you follow that you think placement is a third year after third year activity we think it is a first year activity acha you think that placement first then training once i am placed then company will give me training gone are those days it is your training that is going to fetch you the placement so the better you are trained you are better placed see earlier i will tell you that 2 3 years back the means what used to happen is that student used to get the job on based out of their aptitude the aptitude is nothing but the uh, means uh, uh, the uh, means ability to learn right so you are having a good aptitude means you are good in mathematics you are good in uh, science it means that you have got a better ability to learn things easily so earlier used to happen that uh, company used to recruit in terms of uh, in terms of uh, aptitude and then they put the design training now they are telling exactly the different phenomena they let it let them be uh, trained first that once they are trained then they will test your training and once you pass the training means uh, testing so you are placed so earlier used to happen that it is it was placement then training now things have changed and now it is training you need to be trained first so basically it was a skill based hiring right now and an aptitude based hiring earlier so earlier it was an aptitude based hiring now it is a skill based hiring so the better you are skilled the better you are placed again i repeat that earlier again that this is a myth earlier the challenge for us for the training and placement cell was to get enough number of opportunities for my students now again it has taken a turn now there are plenty of opportunities in the market only thing is that the challenge lies in the training that if you are better trained so a job is waiting for you so the challenge do not lie in placement right now the challenge lies in the training part right placement starts in fourth year we do not believe it placement starts well before fourth year and i recommend placement starts in the first year itself right acha now students say that i deserve a placement of high package i am a btech qualified to graduate so i require a ac room i require a laptop i require some travel investment so these are all benefits that you look for earlier used to happen that you might be seeing your father your relatives they work in reputed companies earlier it used to happen that they enter into a company in a very prestigious uh, job now once again things have changed that you need to go on for a manufacturing job you need to go on for a ground level job first and then as in actual experience a ac room will wait for you a laptop will wait for you all travel luxuries will wait for you but again things have changed earlier in this case i will recommend that do not follow your seniors 
they might have come into some different architecture now the architecture is different and uh, uh, you need to be uh, means aligned with it right um so get i am a btech qualified does not necessarily mean that uh, i am expecting a, a package of 10 lakhs 12 lakhs 15 lakhs 20 lakhs so packages are determined by companies and it should be proportionate with your skill set and not your qualification skill set is a different uh, thing and qualification is a different thing you may be very brilliant in your studies very be better qualified but again your skill set is going to determine your package your qualification is not going to determine your package right Achha, deserve a job in the core sector this is the let us say the mechanical student he tells that sir i deserve a job in the core sector see if the opportunities are plenty i don't mind this is a this is where a student takes a uh, this is a very risky phenomenon that uh, you uh, wait for the core companies yes uh, we also recommend that an electrical engineer should be placed in an electrical company a mechanical engineer should be placed in a mechanical company because but again you should know the reality that the vacancies in it companies are huge plenty but in core companies there are one two five ten in multiples of five ten but in uh, it companies there are multiples of 100 200 300 so getting placed in an it company is much more easier than getting placed in a core company the competition is much more in core companies right so uh, yeah, you need to choose that whether uh, you you means uh, uh, you'll go for an it sector job or a core sector job but again we recommend that take the core sector job throw it off it's take the it sector job let us say a mechanical engineer we do not recommend take it take a job of tcs cts infosys wipro accenture capgemini throw it off search for the next core sector job so you know i'll tell you that these few papers of offer letter take it as a default job it is going to gain your confidence so you need to understand that these papers are meaningless to you but you know that after you pass out you are not a unplaced graduate you are a placed graduate you your body language will change your confidence level will grow up your frustration goes down your uh, miss, uh, everything goes on in a positive note right so this is the reason that we recommend that students should take up a job take it as a default job trust me that we also we also believe that an electrical engineer should be placed in an electrical domain but again we do not have the luxury to be unplaced rather than being placed in an id company right IT sector companies recruits most of the CSIT EC guys. This one second, this is a myth. IT sector companies they have got a very clear cut vision that we will recruit some anyone. It may be food technology, it may be biotechnology, it may be mechanical, electrical. But again, the skill set they will look at the skill sets. IT sector companies do not do not have any bias for CSIT EC. Only bias is that inherently they know the languages, they know the domain. They know the uh, uh, means, uh, system, but anyone from electrical engineer, mechanical, if they also possess the same skill set, they do not hesitate to recruit any anyone from the core sector, core uh, sector uh, departments, right? Uh, again, in the core sector, students, I have seen students telling that I'll go in a manufacturing job, I'll not go in a marketing job, I'll not I'll not go in a purchase job, I'll not go in an office job, I'll go in a manufacturing job. So I'll tell you that this is not the right way of thinking about uh, uh, placements. That while you think about placements, that you need to know that marketing is also a part of placements. You need to know that marketing, there the growth is very high. Purchase department, again uh, operations, again manufacturing. So quality check. So there are several. So we consider manufacturing as a one single box. We do not differentiate it that it is a uh, operations or quality check or purchase or marketing. So uh, you should also understand that uh, these do not go for uh, much uh, means. Uh, profiling in this while you are coming into uh, training and placement right and then after uh, uh, people say in the core departments that i am not uh, uh, miss uh, expert in coding they do not ask you to be expert in coding they want you to do your basics properly they want you to get your basics means whatever subjects you, you learn in your um, uh, uh, syllabus properly that's it but uh, in for the case of uh, it sector yes they may expect few things more uh, but in for core sectors, they expect things that you have learned in your syllabus only, nothing other than that, right? So these are the few myths uh, and uh, facts. Again, coming to the next part, uh, somebody tells me that I'm not interested for 10 hours job or working, uh, means, uh, uh, means uh, working in holidays. You see that in while you get into a job that you there is no holiday for you. There holidays is the day when uh, means uh, uh, the company is off. 
right so you need to be mentally prepared that uh, uh, the shifts may go on for 10 hours 12 hours 8 hours some day 6 hours so it may go on stretch any time so they do not have much of I means uh, tolerance in terms of the um, uh, in terms of uh, uh, duty hours or the number of days and these are very silly these are not to be asked uh, to the companies because you see that these companies they act, act like that that they feel suffocated while you ask that is it a seven days seven, every in every company you have got a weekly weekly off if it is not a sunday it will be a monday if it is not a monday it will be generally it is of eight hours may stretch for 12 10 to 12 hours some days and this is how it happens so you should be aligned with these all these principles or the uh, conventions that uh, industry follows right uh not interested for internships in job opportunities will be lost if uh, stipend low internship is nothing but internship has got nothing to do with job so you take an internship means you are fully trained you are see any company who offers you an internship definitely they will not uh, means, uh, wish to leave you because you know their system you know their architecture you know their conventions you need know their rules so uh, means it is a uh, means internship always fetches a job so always take internships uh, with pro prospect and do not leave any internship opportunity at any point of time. Um, uh, in for us, I'll tell you that the internships are not really considered as jobs. Once you convert the internship to a job, then only I will consider our department will consider you to be placed or else you are still unplaced, right? Um, back and forth jobs means here in this is a fashion that I have got through in TCS. I've got through in CTS, Wipro, all 10 companies, 12 companies I've got through it. So it doesn't really mean that uh, means uh, getting multiple jobs will, uh, that means uh, it adds to my credentials. After all, you'll be joining one single company. But people love to have several numbers of uh, offer letters, show it to their friends, some Facebook friends, uh, to family. Good, that's good. But again, you should think that if you leave the opportunity for others, your friend may be placed for them. So have the fellow feelings. Uh, uh, rather, I'll tell you that once you discard a job, you you lose your credibility. Maybe sometime after your experience, maybe you may lose. You may not be eligible to join that company since you have left the company at that point of time. So you should be aware of these facts. Um, few say that we'll take the offer, but we'll not join. That I'll keep the offer. I'll not join the company. So these are all, all very silly. That we do not expect our students that uh, joining should not be an issue if you are determined that for a company. So you should take joining with prospect and uh, means again it kills the opportunities for your fellow colleagues itself right while you join a company you expect a cabin you ex as i told you that you expect a laptop a cabin a car to take you from your home yes these are our uh, means uh, requirements our luxury but again i'll tell you that uh, maybe your friends your uh, parents your uh, relatives they enjoy these uh, features but they enjoy these features after uh, contributing a lot to the company i'll tell you so your initial objective should be to contribute to the company and not look at the benefits uh, in the initial stage. After I'll tell you that these things automatically will come to your uh, uh, means, uh, come to your reach. Uh, means I usually tell my students that don't do not means do not run after the packages. Uh, I'll tell you that one who do not do not run after packages, the packages starts automatically running after them. That you chase a package, the package will uh, means will. Uh, means go off but if you if you stay stable in a company five years seven years ten years you see that you will get an offer which will be much more uh, better than what you are chasing for right so do not ch chase money do not run after money let money run after you so once you possess the skill set money will automatically run after you you need not worry about it this car facility will automatically come to you this laptop facility ac cabin will automatically come to you you need not think about it and then you gain the confidence and you could uh, take things in a, a better way right uh, got an offer in it sector not allowed for core sector jobs yes we have got a rule that uh, even if somebody is placed in it sector job we give a second opportunity for them to get placed in the uh, core sector job uh, you should take up cv building mark sheet collection exactly you see i have seen plenty of candidates those who do not collect their mark sheets even before the campus drives right so these are very silly i'll tell you that keep it in your mind make your mindset said that uh collect your mind collect your mark sheet at least this is the preparation at least take this preparation every semester you get a mark sheet and collect it store it i've seen plenty of cases not taken the mark sheet from the department not uh, lost the mark sheet lost the admit card lost the i card so these are very silly and what i'll recommend is that you need to be very very much formal while you are taking up trading and placement as an agent so this formal approach is required a matured approach is required 
from your end so coming for the next agenda that uh, if you ask me that what is my best placement yes you might be thinking that it is microsoft google intel samsung no it is not those companies those are all private sector jobs what i wish is that uh, you study for get along with your academic curriculum secure a psu job i'll tell you that these jobs are the elite class jobs you will really enjoy your life you if you go get a psu job what rather i'll propose i'll tell you that uh, before going for the get exams i have seen this is the statistics or this is the these are the few things that we have noticed some observations that one who one who gets to in the initial companies let us say infosys wipro tcs ets take mind that these companies they recruit one year in advance so as you get through i'll tell you that uh, there are plenty of candidates 400 500 candidates those who get through in these kind of companies then after they sit idle relax and wait for the joining to come my proposal is that as you get through in a company like this keep the store the store your offer letter in a uh, uh, means uh, locker right think yourself to be as an unpress start studying for the gate exam i'll tell you that a job in a core sector like let us say indian oil corporation uh, gale sail i'll tell you you cannot just cannot believe it that you, these are two non comparable jobs right so for me a psu job is much much better than a, a private sector job so uh, again but again there the competition is very high indian oil recruits only uh, 50 candidates or 100 candidates uh, or let us say 500 candidates in each year indian army they recruit only uh, 100 candidates each year uh, gel they recruit 300 candidates so the competition will be high but again i'll tell you that clearing a gate exam is also damn easy you can you can take it from me that i have been a teacher for last 16 years and you can take it from me that one who takes it up from day one studies the uh, subjects with authority i'll tell you that he will land up with a gate score and i am telling you that scoring 1 to 100 it is very very easy you can take it from me that uh, at a, i'll tell you that our records goes on like this last year one of my students have scored 39 rank from computer science last to last year they have one student have scored second rank in the, from instrumentation engineering department so there are instances few have scored uh, few have Uh, scored ranks in ips ias so there are instances only thing is that you need to take it up prospectively right so once you make your mindset uh, accordingly my point is that take these jobs private sector job as a default job study for psus there are plenty of candidates those who take up bank po exam and they are clearing it they are managers in um, the reserve bank of india they are managers in several um, uh, means um, foreign ministries Uh, we know that uh, means and the numbers are not one or two the number goes on 50 60 80 100 so the point is that only thing is that i'll tell you that what students does is that this while they see means pass out they take the preparation my point is that while you are into the college why don't you take a preparation that is going to fetch you a uh, better results maybe for the first iteration that will gain your confidence you get a score which is not appropriate in the next iteration you can go for a rank of 1 to 100 i believe that one who takes uh, one who takes admission in our college has got a excellent brilliant merit so they have got i'll tell you that there are 20 30 students clearing uh, bpsc exam uh, every year these are the statistics that we keep uh, track of and again bank pure plenty plenty you name it. i mean i am telling you that 50 100 is also less score for us the scores may go as as good as uh, 200 300 but again now the point is that why am i telling that a private sector job and a psc you could see in the slide itself that the aps you starts with a, a package of a package of 1 lakh where in a private sector job starts with a 5 lakh per annum you see that your uh, yearly uh, means if you your years of service if it is 36 years means i take it to consideration that you pass out be taken in the age of 24 and your retirement is at 60 years of age so you see that you earn 1.8 crores in a uh, means uh, in a private sector job and in in case of a psu sector job you earn 4.32 crores so you see that your uh, 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 your uh, means uh, i'll tell you that um, your status changes your uh, means uh, confidence changes your prestige changes in the society so what i will recommend is that as soon as you land up with a private sector job start for a strike for a public sector job so this is the exact strategy that i wish that my students should follow do not sit idle for a private sector job only because that is there that is if i am unable to do that then that is there for me if i am able to do that so why don't i try for a psu job so that's the reason i say that try fast for a psu job try next for a 
a private sector job and keep it as a default. I suppose that I could make you clear that uh, why am I telling the best record as a PSU job, right? So next, in the next slide, let us come for the, that I'm expecting few things from supply chain, right? Every semester, I'm expecting you to go for an NPTEL course. NPTEL course is nothing but, let me introduce the NPTEL course. It is a, it is a, a means learning portal, which is, which has been established by the IITs. It means if you go through the, if you go through the, um, uh, means portal, you will understand that every subject, every subject has been dealt by the IIT professors, IIT uh, lecture sessions are there, and you could very easily understand concepts and uh, you could get a certificate, right? So if I am telling you that these are certain protocols that we follow, you acquire one NPTEL certificate in one semester, I'll tell you, again, a job will be waiting for you because these certificates tells you that you are competent, you are skilled, right? Again, let us say that somebody is targeting targeting in from the first year in, itself, somebody is targeting that I need to go to Microsoft, right? Or let us say Google. So you need to understand that you need to have the website visited. Then what are they looking for? How, what is the recruitment policy? Will they will they ask this this domain or will will they ask some different domain? So you need to be means doing a research work on what exactly these companies demand, right? Um, you should you should know that you should scrutinize every uh, component by I, i'll tell you that once you let us say that uh, you uh, mean we use plenty of products let us say that colgate who is the manufacturer what what is the lifetime of a colgate paste you'll uh, if you go to the kitchen your mother might be using a healthy packet who is the manufacturer for it what is its lifetime what is the price what is the weight what are the components present out here so i wish that as you come across because you are getting to be a btech graduate so you have to be technically competent, right? Uh, let us say that you are purchasing a fridge. So what is the wattage that is consumed? What is the electricity that will be consumed, uh, consumed by it? Uh, how long should it work? Is it an auto cut or a, while you are going to purchase the AC, you should. So you are, you are getting to be a BTEC graduate. So you need to miss, uh, is scrutinize everything by its make, which is the company making it, why the, the uh, things are not being made in India, why it is uh, made abroad, what is the price, why the pricing is like that. Uh, what is the expiry date? Why the expiry date is six months? Why not nine months? So all these things, what are the certificates? Like you see that in every food packet, we see that FSSI certificate. So you should understand what is this certificate telling? What are the compliances required? Who is making it? Why they're making it? Right? Like I'll give you an example. You see that um, mustard powder is uh, manufactured in Rajasthan. What is the reason? Because Rajasthan is a major uh, uh, means, uh, product, uh, agricultural cultivation of uh, mustard seeds. So there in the mustard seeds are very readily available. So that's why the, you see that mustard oil companies, they are mainly concentrated in Rajasthan. So these are all phenomena you should uh, means take it up from day one itself because you are going to be a graduate engineer. Make it a point that you should be technically competent. You should be different from a different, means other uh, persons from other domains, right? You should have a thorough knowledge of the raw materials being provided. That uh, means while I tell that why are uh, I'll tell you that um, um, uh, iron and steel, uh, or let us say that edible oil companies are painting in Haldia. What is the reason that you talk about Fortune edible oil? You talk about uh, Imami healthy and tasty. Those edible oils companies are all located in uh, Haldia itself. The reason being is that the, the raw materials come from Indonesia, and Haldia port is the nearest port to it. So you should understand, this is one example I'm giving for everything that you see, that you uh, visualize, you need to understand that why it is being produced in such regions, right? Why uh, uh, mustard uh, is being cultivated in uh, Rajasthan more? Because it does not require much of, uh, or it, in Punjab more, because it requires a dry environment, right? Uh, uh, why uh, sugar is, uh, sugar companies, they usually uh, means uh, be operation for six months and they be, remain uh, uh, means uh, obsolete for another six months. The reason is that the pulp cost goes on high when sugarcane is produced. So the, the cost of the pulp is low. And so they manufacture most of the sugar at that point of time. And when the pulp uh, price goes on high, they uh, do not do it, uh, do not manufacture. So th these few things, trends, conventions, uh, some logic you need to establish that why things have been always put a question that why it is such. So you need to uh, know things uh, properly, right? Moreover, being placed is once again easy. If you practice punctuality, communication without hesitation, see, 
uh, you should understand that interviews are not uh, a for means not a, a thing to be feared of a uh, thing to be afraid of it is simply a communication people understand see uh, we are also from a very rural background uh, uh, means uh, but uh, you see that as we are we used to we are used to uh, speaking with people so we can uh, speak to we can open our mind in front of others so it is always justified that you start opening your mind at least with your friends with your uh, faculties try responding try responding back for a mail a mail going to reaching you you should always give a return yes i'm looking after it yes i shall take it forward no i'm not going for, forward with it i have got certain reservations so always respond back have these uh, have these attributes in built in into you so those things are going to affect you success and uh, in days to come right and after all hands on we really do not believe in what you uh, means uh, not much of what you study but again seeing is believing make it a point so you spend much of the time in the industry so you see it you believe it and you will come to know that uh, the all the co concepts in books that are being mapped in the industry right so these are few things that we are expecting from you means always be means be matured you are being uh, means you are going to be a graduate engineer people will expect something technically different from you so keep these points in mind and uh, let me take the pleasure of that is all from my side uh, let me take the pleasure of introducing myself the person who is responsible for your training and placement is me and my team i am accompanied by saurabh uh, dipankar tanmoy uh, swaranthi madam soyli madam bappaditto moinak mr jalal khan usually taking care of training or any document related to your loan and rajesh jana right so this is my team we are a big team of uh, 10 members and uh, we love to serve my students i'll tell you that uh, any support that you uh, desire to get from my end i i would love to serve you as far as practicable as much as practicable from my department so that is all from my side students uh, uh, take my words try to follow my words it is going to fetch you and i'm telling you that most of the students land up with a job from my college we support them as long as you are unplaced if you are unplaced for next 10 years we are there to share your pain right we are dedicated in such a fashion we are there at your service trust us and communicate with us for any difficulty that you come across it may be training it may be placement it may be anything other than training and placement we are there, there to help you out thank you so much